What is going on my fellow top 5 enjoyers, it's your boy Illumity here and today I'm going to be bringing you my opinion on the top 5 perks in Call of Duty Zombies history. Quick side note, I will be streaming my 100 sub specials sometime next week. I'll be playing a map that some of you guys might know, some of you guys may not. It's called Octagonal Ascension, I'm sure, I'm sure at least some of you guys have heard of it. It's pretty much one of the hardest custom zombies maps of all time. Make sure to join the Discord, like and sub if you're new here, and without further ado, let's get into my top 5 perks in COD Zombies. Coming in at your number 5 spot, I got Quick Revive. This one is pretty self-explanatory, a second chance at life, at least in solo mode, three different times, is incredibly useful, especially if you're not the best at the game, like myself. Obviously, there is the other feature for which Quick Revive was actually made, which is reviving your teammates faster. That feature is good, but if you're a good enough Zombies player, it's not really worth it anyway. The self-revive feature didn't actually exist in the game it debuted on, that being World at War. But yeah, that was your number 5 perk. At your number 4 spot, I got Stamina Up. This is one of the most useful perks for training, and it helps you get around the map quicker, especially on maps where you need that added speed boost like Origins or Transit, because traversing through that fog slash mud is a fucking hell of an ordeal. I don't know if I worded that right, but the speed boost isn't super significant, I believe it's only 7%, but it makes you feel like you're absolutely fucking zooming, so... Another thing that it does though is it actually increases how long you can run, not only how fast you do run. But yeah, as I said earlier, it's incredibly useful for training, especially past I think round 50 when all the zombies start running the same speed, that being top fucking sprinting speed. So yeah, great perk for high rounds and I think a lot of people overlook it. Coming in at your number 3 spot, I got Double Tap, specifically Double Tap 2.0, the one that was introduced in Black Ops 2. Why not 1.0? Well, all 1.0 does increase your fire rate by 33%, which is useful on certain guns like the HK-21 that have a slower fire rate, but the reason that specifically only 2.0 is on this list is it has a significant it has a significant upgrade that the original didn't have. That being that for every one bullet you shot, you get another bullet. I don't know if that made sense or not, but you shoot one bullet, two comes out of the barrel, and you still get the added fire rate boost. So not only are you almost doubling your fire rate, but you're shooting two bullets for the cost of one, essentially doubling your damage. This works on pretty much every gun. See, it turned the Chikom even into a gun that can kill on round 16, unpacked. And it even works on semi-auto guns, or bolt-action guns like the DSR. You can see you're pulling back the bolt a lot faster. And like the actual Double Tap 2.0 feature, it does actually shoot two bullets. During the earlier rounds, this is definitely one of the more useful perks for helping you stay alive. Coming in at your number 2 spot, this may get kinda controversial, and I can understand why, but I have Jug. Why is it not number 1? Because my number 1 holds a special little place in my heart, and I definitely have a bias. But yeah, number 2 is, everybody knows this perks, it's Jug. What does Jug do? It gives you 2 extra hits before you go down. What does that mean? It means you're like fucking doubly as safe. I cannot think of a single situation where either Jug would be bad or you wouldn't want Jug. Jug has saved all of us, I'm sure, countless times in that little corner in Kino where Jug is. You go down, you immediately buy Jug again if you're playing co-op. But yeah. As a quick honorable mention, I have Vulture Aid, one of the most unique and special perks. It's only on one map, that being Buried, and it really is a shame because it had four different features, which weren't all that useful, that being like the money bag that I just picked up, it gave me like 20 points, which isn't that useful, 
There's also the green mist feature that literally lets you stay invincible as the zombies will literally run away from you because they don't like the smell of you. There is another one where a zombie drops a little ammo power up where you gain like one bullet. It works on your ray gun mark II as well, which is stupidly overpowered. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up. And of course, the last feature is being able to see icons through walls. So like the mystery box, perks, and weapons. At your number one spot, my favorite perk, what I think the best perk is, Widow's Wine. Why would I put it above Jug, though? To me, Jug, if you get trapped in a corner on a high round, you're fucked anyway. But if you get trapped in a corner on a low, or not on a low round, if you get trapped on a, in a corner on a high round with Widow's Wine, sure, you might go down faster, but you have the whole Widow's Wine grenade effect that'll snare the zombies and pretty much ensure that you stay safe and that you can pull out your infinite damage wonder weapon that you hopefully have and get out of said corner. But yeah, those were my top five perks in Call of Duty Zombies history. Let me know what you guys would have put on the list or if I should have definitely switched up the order of Jug and Widow's Wine. Make sure to join the Discord and drop in my stream for 100 subs and as always, peace.